Have you ever thought about moving to New Haven but really didn't know where to look? I'm here to tell you today that East Rock is the place to be. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Stacey Olson with the Valentini team at William Ramis Real Estate. And on my channel, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about living on the Connecticut coast. East Rock is one of my favorite areas of New Haven. And there's plenty of reasons why. First, let's kind of just talk about the general area. East Rock is a beautiful historic neighborhood in the north central section of New Haven. Located only about a mile from Yale, this has become a favorite home for many Yale students, staff, and faculty, but also for young professionals and families that are looking for that urban lifestyle. East Rock is a great mix of residential and commercial buildings. They have many apartments, townhomes, and single family homes. This neighborhood is rich in history, and many of the homes here were built over 100 years ago and have been beautifully maintained. When you drive around, you'll see plenty of stately homes that have unique personalities and tons of greenery. In fact, New Haven is known as the Elm City. Taxes do tend to be high in New Haven, but you get so many amenities being right in the city. If you live in East Rock, you can literally walk to many of your local favorite hotspots, or as you'll hear later, bike. The median home price for a single family home in East Rock as of July, 2022 was $439,000. A few great things to know about East Rock is that it's always hopping. It's no joke. When I took this video, it was a Sunday and there were so many people out and about on a Sunday in the morning. I know, who gets up on a Sunday morning? But it's true. There was so much activity going on as I was doing this filming. It really amazed me. There were people out and about walking their dogs, pushing strollers, and many people biking. In fact, they have a dedicated bike lane on many of the roads in East Rock. I encountered biker after biker as I was driving around, and it really is a great option to get around there. There is actually a bike co-op in East Rock. It's called the Bradley Street Bike Co-op. And on their website, it actually says that it's a community bike shop working towards an equitable New Haven by getting people on bikes. I mean, what a great idea that this is so supported locally. They have things like open shop hours where you spend $10 and you will learn how to repair your bike by one of the volunteers at the co-op. Or you can buy a used bike and they also have a donation area. So when you're done with your bike, you can actually recycle it and they'll be sure that it goes to someone who's in need of one. One huge attraction in this area is East Rock Park obviously its namesake. And this is a very popular destination among the residents in this area. And quite honestly, for people not from the area, the park is open year round to hikers and walkers, but the actual road that goes up to the summit is only open from April to November. Unfortunately, the day that I was there filming, the road was blocked off, so I couldn't take the road to the summit, which was frustrating because I wanted to get beautiful panoramic pictures of Long Island Sound and the Metro New Haven area, because I've heard it's truly breathtaking. But if you're willing to hoof it, which I wasn't, it was about 90 degrees the day I was there, and I didn't quite have the time, but if you're willing to make the walk, I hear it's amazing. There are so many activities that are permitted in this park. There's hiking, cross-country skiing, picnicking, snowshoeing, bicycling. You can even boat on the Mill River there. You can do bird watching, dog walking. I mean, quite honestly, there's a ton. They also have listed here rock climbing, which I'm not really a rock climber, but some people love that, and you can do that there as well. Another great little spot in East Rock is called Never Ending Books. Listen to this, it's such an amazing place. Over the last four decades, Never Ending Books was a collective of artists and bookworms 
that ran a free bookstore and community venue. Unfortunately, in December of 2020, one of the original Last Men Standing that was a part of the bookstore announced that he was going to have to close it due to the pandemic financial struggles they were having. But a group of devoted never-ending books enthusiasts actually rallied around the space, raised the funding, and were able to keep it open and actually picked up the lease. And with the guidance of that last remaining person from the original Never Ending Books, they were actually able to continue to provide New Haven with free books and live music. I love this story. One of the greatest things about East Rock is the wide array of shops and restaurants that are located in the central area. So everything is very walkable, and that is a huge benefit to people living there. So I'm going to focus on State Street first. And I cannot talk about State Street without talking about modern pizza, or as the folks that live in New Haven call it, modern a beats. <laughs> anyway, um, it's always ranked among the top 10 to 20 in our country, not just in New Haven, not just in Connecticut, but in our entire country. The pizza is excellent. And if I'm being honest, it is my favorite. Sorry, Sally's and Peppies, but I love modern. It's not a really big restaurant at all. And be prepared to wait because there's always a line. Again, when I was filming this, it was a Sunday morning and they weren't open yet. Hence why there's no line outside. But later in the day, when I circled back around, it was swarming with people, no joke. There was a line of cars waiting because someone was trying to get into that parking lot. There was probably 20 people standing outside of the restaurant. So be prepared to wait, but it is well worth it. The pizza is the best. Another great place right here on State Street is Lord Show. This is a well-known Italian restaurant in New Haven and also tops the list as one of the best. This is more of an upscale Italian restaurant and it's located in a historic home. It's actually the Thomas Kelly House, which was built in 1889 and really is one of the few Queen Anne Victorian style residences in the East Rock area. They have a beautiful bar, great indoor and outdoor dining and amazing fresh Italian pasta. So you have to stop by and try it out. If Mexican delights are what you're after, then you have to go right off of State Street not even a block to Mezcal. I recently went there with my family and it was delicious. They have all of your traditional favorites with rice and beans and of course a margarita to die for. We had a great time that night we were there. It's a fun festive atmosphere but again be prepared to wait because it's first come first serve and there's usually a line. Now back to State Street again. I can't explain to you how good Tavern on State was. I went there for a girls' night, and let me tell you, we all licked our plates clean. The food is delicious. This place has a cool, rustic vibe. There's a lot of wood inside, it's a little darker, has some cool ambiance, and they actually do take reservations, which is great but it is like back to back to back reservations. You can't always be guaranteed to get one, so you should call well in advance to book one because this place is known for their great food. They have everything from burgers to steaks to pork to lamb to seafood. There's really something on the list for everyone. And they have a great cocktail menu. The chef has done an amazing job and also happens to be opening up a new restaurant in the Fairhaven section that's going to be called Fairhaven Oyster Company. I cannot wait to try it. No, this isn't a restaurant, but it is pretty much next door to Tavern on State. It's called Provisions on State, and it's owned by the same chef. It's really a great little butcher shop that has beautiful cuts of meat, cheeses, breads, pastas, and all sorts of fun things that you would want. I stopped in to check it out and honestly they have so many beautiful options to choose from and I did have to go home with some French onion sausage and some homemade meatballs. 
So now I'm moving away from State Street and I'm gonna go to Willow Street, which is where the iconic Archie Moores is. A little history about the name is that Archibald Moore, AKA Archie Moore, was an Irish immigrant who settled in New Haven and established the local watering hole, wink, wink, on Willow Street in 1898. And over the years, there have been several taverns that have remained in that exact location for nearly a century. But then in 1982, the Archie Morris that we know and love officially opened. It's a fun atmosphere. They have great bar food and they are known for their exceptional wings. So when you go, you must get the Buffalo wings. And the last thing I want to talk about is the East Rock Market on Nickel Street. This is very new, but it's really capitalizing on that food hall idea that has becoming more and more popular lately. When you enter into the food hall, you're gonna see four or five different options. So they're kind of set up like stands. You go up and you order your food and whatever you order, you can go to one, two, or all five of them. You get your food and then you go sit in more of like a community area of tables. When I was there, I went to Rockfish and I have to be honest, this is probably the best sushi I have ever had in my life. It literally melted in your mouth. And the host that was there was so gracious. She walked us through every single plate that she brought over, explained what it was, how it was prepared, and how you should eat it. I have never had that done before. Let me tell you, it really made the experience great. Also in the food hall was a taco stand, a pasta bar, gelato shop. They had a regular like bar where they serve liquor and drinks and they had a smoothie place. So there's really something there depending on what you're craving for everyone. And right next door to the East Rock Market is East Rock Brewing. How convenient. I mean, seriously, what a combination. You stop by the beer hall and have a few beers with your friends and then you walk right next door to this amazing food hall. I mean, it's a great place to spend an afternoon. And honestly, I feel like I didn't even do East Rock justice because there are so many more restaurants and cute shops to talk about. I really think I'm gonna do another video. Hmm. So East Rock is amazing. And if you want to find another great little area in New Haven, check out Morris Cove. It is really tucked away and I feel like it's the hidden gem in the city. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next week.